the end the greatest manifestation is really the end is wedged with the beginning because the whole purpose is for us to get into the realm of malchut of kingship and that is the apparent that is this world that is the revelation within time and space within the finite within the finite the infinite resides and that's the ultimate that's the really where it's all at the uh, the, the greatest highest height now is meant to reside within our bodies within ourself within our mind within the challenges and the choices that we make and and th that incredible revelation of what is pre world essentially the letter the the the, the crown of the keter is able to draw down into this world and th this this letter this aspect of five is found throughout as a very very important number so we've got the five letters of god's holy name so we know of four letters but really within the letter yud we've got what is called the crown of the letter yud and the crown of the letter letter, letter yud refers to the level of crown the, the parts of, of keter and then the letter Yud, and then the He, and then the Vav, and then the letter He. At the end, those are the five aspects of God's holy name, referring to, or hinting to, the five partsufim. Each partsuf has within it a specific letter, which it is, we could say, it is its letter which which identifies, which solidifies what that uh, partsuf is essentially all about. And then we've got the five spiritual worlds. We spoke about four spiritual worlds, but there's the world of Adam Kadmon, which in some places is not even called a world, much like crown is not really called a... Um, a level of the soul it's really transcendental it's above the world it's part of the divine so too the ak the level of adam kadmon is really within the 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 realm of the of of the infinite although atzilut is also comes from the word le, at, um, atzul le, it comes from it from the divine right but Nevertheless, the, the world of Ak comes from a much higher place and therefore it signifies the, the, the fifth world, the fifth spiritual world. And then we've got the world of Atzilut, of Bria, Yitzira, and Asiya until we have this physical world and the time and space that we are sitting in, that we are in, and we're essentially surrounded by these circles of higher consciousness, of higher worlds going all the way back to this interconnected world which exists right here, right now. It's just that we are in the finite, in the space which our world corresponds to the world of Asiya, which essentially is the, the manifestation of Malchut, of kingship, of Mother Earth within the limitations. We've got the five levels of soul. The five levels of, of soul are Nefesh, Ruach, um, Neshama, Chaya, and Yechida. And the five levels of soul interact much with the five spiritual worlds, essentially, because we've got this interconnective, we could say like radioactive um, uh, signals that are going on within the higher parts of our soul that are that are understanding what what we're getting the signal from and in the lower world that we're in the world of nefesh the world of really this corporeal material world we don't we are essentially desensitized in that sense but as we rise up to the higher worlds the higher manifestations there is the unhind unhindered uh, uh, signaling which comes from the source and it is very much known it is felt it is identified with with the soul and um, and so the five levels of soul correspond to the five levels of the um, of the spiritual world as well as the five um, letters of God's holy name as well and then we've got the five books of Moses the Chumash the Chumash stands for Chamesh